the more that you take care with your writing, the more you might explore uncertainties in your thinking. And the more you explore those uncertainties in your thinking, the clearer you will be in your writing and communication. In Earth systems, in contrast to, to a strictly um, scientific investigation of, of compelling issues that form the planet on which we live, Earth systems, as a subpiece of that, is investigating contemporary problems of Earth systems, especially where they meet human societal problems, environmental problems. And so what causes us to believe that something is a problem for humans on this planet as well as for the systems of the planet. This is the endeavor of our systems. I think the key to effective writing when one has multiple audiences begins with strong content knowledge. You must know that about which you are writing. You must own it thoroughly. And so certainly students need, before they put pen to paper or fingers to keyboard as the case may be, they, they must know their content and they must feel strongly that, that this is something on which they can write with authority. With an Earth Systems perspective, it is, it is not meant to just be a dry analytical retelling of science facts, of data, of numbers. Those numbers must inform in a meaningful way. And so it is critically important to understand your audience and to understand your motive in communicating with them in the first place. One is trying through writing to perhaps engender concern, not just information. I need to educate, certainly I want to inform, but I may also want to provoke emotion. I may want to cause people to see themselves as being empowered to affect positive change on a system in which I, through my, through my voice as a writer, can inform them and cause them to feel both an intellectual connection but also an emotional connection. This might be through strong policy writing, this might be through strong and well communicated science writing, it might be through personal narrative, it could be through poetry, it could be through any one of a number of genre, but one has to think about who is my audience, what, what is my goal. Students quickly identify when they are being trained in the sciences. The need for iteration, the need for provability to do something repetitively and demonstrate with clarity that this is a result in which I have confidence. Why would writing be any different? Why would you expect that there is not a need to iterate, there is not a need to, to improve through time, to practice the art of communicating your results to others? One wouldn't do one experiment and expect that to be abiding through time and unchangeable, to expect it to be static. It's not static, my God, it's alive. It's, it's, it's lovely to think of an evolving relationship with a system and your ability to explore it. Writing, the ability to communicate that and to, to demonstrate the, the greater clarity with which you can explain your ideas and how those have morphed through time in the face of new information, precisely the same. Your ability, your skill, the, the, the sharpness with which your eye can focus on a problem gets better as you practice. Your writing in being able to communicate and bring other people into that world absolutely improves, but it only improves through steady practice and through a willingness to have others engaged in the process with you. In terms of why you are here, it is about that exploration of self and how we are going to take the best of what is available at Stanford and march that into the rest of our lives. It is going to be about your ability to communicate with others. It is going to be about the sharing of ideas, the learning, the perspective that one gains from study at a place like Stanford. Writing is intimately connected to that. One of the single uh, most abiding sadly, critiques that I hear from employers of, of students broadly at Stanford is, please make them write more, please. We need people who can communicate. We need those who understand the art of communication and the skill of communication, who are committed to being good communicators. Don't underestimate the importance of this.